Hey guys, welcome to episode number 445. Today is Thursday, so I have some more aquarium news for you. And the first story of the day is Mysterious Sea Creatures Filmed by Noah. Noah recently released photos and video from its most recent deep sea exploration to marine sanctuaries in the American Samoan region of the Pacific Ocean. The team used a remotely operated vehicle to conduct several dives where they observed strange and beautiful animals, such as the Venus flytrap anemone, which behaves much like its namesake. The cosmic jellyfish, which looks like a tiny little UFO, a hydroid, which is related to the jellyfish family, and an armored sea robin, a bottom dweller, which uses modified fins to walk on the bottom. Go check out all of Noah's footage by using the link below. Next story up, improved vision in land fish evolution. A new study out of Northwestern University has posed an interesting theory that the fish that eventually evolved to walk on land for the first time evolved much larger eyes to see terrestrial prey. Previously, it was believed that as fish began to evolve limbs, they also evolved better eyesight to see on land. However, after examining the fossil records, it's now theorized that the larger eyes evolved first. This means that perhaps what drove fish to evolve to walk on land in the first place was the fact that they could now see for the first time the insects that they wanted to feed upon. It may seem like a minor detail in the grand scheme of things, but it's fascinating to imagine how eyes eventually led to legs. Next story. Azure window collapses into the sea. USA Today reported this week that the world famous Azure window has fallen into the sea. An iconic landmark located in Malta, the Azure window was a natural rock arch which was formed by erosion and enjoyed by millions of tourists. It was even featured in the hit TV show Game of Thrones. A recent geological study showed that the arch was weakening and recently tourists have been banned from walking on or sailing underneath the arch. This week, the Azure window finally collapsed into the sea, but it will be forever remembered by the people of Malta. Next story up, baby whale shark rescued and released. Holy shit, dude, it's a baby whale shark. This week, Jake Adams from Reef Builders published an article showing a baby whale shark being rescued and released by fishermen off the coast of India. The baby whale shark measured just two feet long, which makes it very close to being a newborn animal. Whale sharks are ovoviparous, which means the eggs remain inside the female until she gives birth. Whale sharks can reach 40 feet in length and weigh up to 20 tons. Hopefully, this little guy gets a chance to reach that size. And the final story of the week. Write a fan letter to fish. The last story of the week comes from Time, who featured a story about how the Monterey Aquarium is asking people to do something they've most certainly never done before. Write a fan letter to their fish. The Monterey Aquarium features hundreds of species of aquatic animals, each of which is beautiful and unique. If you've got children who are in love with an aquatic friend, write a fan letter to your favorite fish and the staff at the Monterey Aquarium will read your letters to their fish. It's a fun way to get kids to appreciate the animals that live in the world around them. And that's your aquarium news for the week. As always, click the links in the description below to learn more about all of these stories. And until next week, stay curious and I'll see you guys later.